put your hands together. That was a miracle, miraculous kind of, you know, the power of God in our life for the child to stop that situation. Your own situation also bringing shame to you and reproach has come to an end tonight. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Jibri Mercy. I want to testify of what God has done in my life. I thank God that I am not a victim of a speed suit. I have a problem in my eyes that whenever I look into direct light, my left eye, water will be gushing out of it. I told my proprietress, she said I should tell my parents that they should buy me glasses. I said, God forbid. I was not saying this in my mind that how can a small girl of me using glasses that is not a sin of pride the following day when Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi said we should place our hand on where we have the problem. I placed my hand on my left eyes, believing that God will heal me. But I thank God. God healed me. And since then, I can face the red light and nothing will happen to me. My second testimony. Since when I'm seven years, the one I can remember, if I take anything cold, I will not be able to swallow even saliva. My parents usually spend money on this. They will buy drugs. This, this, this sickness usually keeps me from school, even more than two weeks. The HM already know about my issue. But I thank God. God healed me. At first, I placed my hand on my throat. I did not have any testimony. But when Baba Nas said that, if you want to give your life to Christ, raise up your hand. I raise up my hand. And after the prayer, the final prayer and the final amen, I thank God that I was able to swallow my saliva freely without any, any pain. Praise the Lord! Put your hands together as you surrender your life to the Lord. Every blockage will be removed in your life, in your throat, in every area of your life. Praise the Lord. Um, my name is Paul Ubi. I was invited to this program by a friend of mine. I school in Ekiti. And I've, I've been battling with this addiction of smoking weed and cigarettes for a while, and since I left secondary school, I've been smoking. That was in 2014. I can't remember the last time I didn't smoke up to now. And funny enough, I developed this polynasa in my left, right nose, nostrils, whereby I can't breathe properly. And I was told that I would be having an operation next month for it. And when the pastor was praying, I was telling God that, God, I, I think I'm done with this weed of a team. Because the pastor said something that if you, if the devil gives you something, he wants to turn your head upside down and your leg would be upstairs um, doing the wiggling and stuff. So I thought like, all these years I've been smoking, it's as if um, I've not been thinking well, and it's as if what the pastor said is true. Then I beg God that God, because when I came here, I have these lumps in my nose. I don't even need to put my hand in my nose. I would feel it myself. And unfortunately, when the pastor said we should touch our hands on wherever the part that we feel is not okay with us, I was reluctant at first, but I just decided to just, like, st with style, I placed my hand on my nose. Then after the pastor prayed finished, I sat down and I blew my nose. I, 
I can't find, like, I can't find the day again, like, there's no more day, and I think that's a miracle for me. Thank you very much. Put your hands together. Double miracle. Deliverance from smoking and healing of the nose block. Double portion for you tonight. Tell yourself, double portion in my life. Double miracle in my life. There's an affirmation from heaven for you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I'm Sister Priscilla, Priscilla Imakbo. I'm a student of Fuyi. I want to thank God for how he delivered me and how he healed me miraculously. I've been having a sickness for, um, since 2020 and I couldn't say anything because of financial issues. But miraculously, this, I told him 2022, 2021 December during the miracle um, explosion in the DLCC. I told him that God, I don't want to carry the sickness to 2023, that I should just do something for me. Miraculously, 2022, God just make the miracle, miraculous provision and I could do the surgery. After the surgery, I had issues like I couldn't eat. I had post-surgery um, trauma and my body was just disorganized. But that day, I sat at home because it was around August 27 when I did the surgery. And it was during the time we were having the global crusade. So during that time, I listened to the prayer at home and miraculously God healed me. Today I am totally healed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You can do better than that. Say, praise the Lord. Can we have orchestra to praise the Lord with us? Before we... 